Ted Ellis. I'm a professional artist. I grew up in New Orleans in the Lower Ninth Ward um, of New Orleans, and um, that's my birthplace. But home has been has been Houston, Texas. I get to pursue my passion. My love is art, and what I do is pictorially document my culture, my heritage. I like painting my black folks. That's what I'm passionate about doing, and um, I've done it since a kid. Probably the, um, the mid '90s, you had a lot of the Bloods and the Cribs on on TV, and I'm saying, you know, I, I don't like that image. I'm mm-hmm. being projected of African American male. I said, you know, project the image of me. You know, you know I'm a middle management, you know, functional, taking care of my family, kids in the inner city who look like me need to see folks like me to aspire to. And so, um, so I was putting in rebuttal to the newspaper and writing, it, and nothing happened. I said, well, what am I passionate about? You know. What really moves me, my art? And I said, you know, right then and there, I woke up and I said, I'm a paint with passion and purpose. And Justice was the first piece that I did that really, really set set me on my way on the purpose behind my painting. This is one of my favorite pieces. This is an actual Tuskegee Airman um, that got killed, got shot down in combat. He actually died. Dr. Hume, who's a podiatrist, this was his great uncle. And um, I titled the piece, you know, I Flew a Red Tail. So in commemoration and recognition of his uh, deceased uncle. But that's the, um, I want to say my only Tuskegee Airmen piece that's, that's, that's historical in a real sense. Let's go say hello to Miss Stallman. Hey, we just need to say hello, yeah. Good. I do want to schedule some time, you know, the latter part of spring okay. before some of the coming exhibit. Okay. And that should work out. Just yeah. give me a call. All Let right, me so, know. All okay. Right, good you. seeing you. So have you enjoyed the exhibit? I love the exhibit. Okay. <laughs> Which piece you take home? I'm going to take home that one with the, the barbershop. <laughs> you like the barbershop piece. <laughs> yeah. I love your work. Oh, thank you. How you doing? Mark. Yeah, what's your name? Mark. Hey, Mark. Okay. I, 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 uh, every time I come here to take care of the plants. Uh-huh. And uh, these have such a deep meaning for me, you know. You know, say if you, you walk in the museum, uh-huh. and that's, that's, that's the effect that I wanted to have in here. Right. right. So, right. So, so far, I think everybody is pretty happy about the exhibit. But how about that? Wasn't that wonderful? See that? See how art, how art makes an impact? You know, it just touches everybody. And you never know. That's just that's just the magic of it. On behalf of the Texas Spring Cypress Chapter, I want to get this chapter right. <laughs> oh, this right. is a tribute to you and your team. Okay, it's called I Love My Cookies. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. I love my cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one person can make a difference, you know. One person can change many lives. You know, just gotta believe. You gotta have the faith. That's it. You gotta have the faith. Well, I love what I do. And, uh, you know, keep me humble. Then it's multicultural. So there was sacrifice to, to learn, and, 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 I, and I put this functional family unit together because it's how it's supposed to impose it and be implied. The other question is, am I free? So it's a continuation that we still fight for our living and fight against inequality. The colored man is my universal images, the primordial man, the red, blue, and yellow, and the He's the artist extraordinaire. Coming to the stage, Mr. Ted Ellis. Give him a round of applause. You know, I look at art as being a, a wonderful instrument for teaching, um, visual literacy. It's a, it's a compliment. It's, um, but, um, you know, I'm not. So I didn't do one of those Sometimes you are tired, sometimes you are fatigued. But, you know, it's something that lifts you up when some other people find value in what you do. And so, I want to say thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to be in here. It's, it's, you know, it's life. You can all be criticized. You know, you just, you just, you just prove your worth. 
you prove your worth and you move on. So if I get something negative, then I'm, I'm at the canvas three times as hard. You know, I'm, I'm making another phone call. You know, I will show you. And, and, and that's the testimony of our strength. That's how you sketch your hair. I didn't want to do that. I was kind of bored. Using, using the element, you know. I was like, wow. I saw that's, 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 that's how you do your little designs. Um, is this your first teal experience? Mm -hmm. The first. The first. So, Thank you. So where are you going to hang it at? I don't know yet. I just know I had to have it. Right. You know, pinball, night wall, right here. That's the first thing, man. First thing. You gotta have this on the site. Yeah. Daddy, this is a hard machine. Oh, this is Obama. You were here last year, and this year, there's just a different element in you. It's like a glowing effect on you, and it's different from last year. And I just want to share that with you because I noticed that from the minute I walked into the, the lecture hall downstairs, and I said, This is a, a, another Ted. And then we also like to give you the whole shirt. This is my Juneteenth, free at last, 1865, when they found out that they, uh, they were free two years after the uh, emancipation. And right here I have embedded in a, in a home, and you have the state of Texas, if you kind of see it, and it's peace. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's a superstar. Right there. Bye. <laughs> Hey, listen, it's my time. It's my time to be shown here in the Houston Museum of Fine Art, or the Museum of Fine Art of Houston.